just be out with us to the Atlantis Resort and Adventure on Paradise Island in the Bahamas. This is a five part series of the Atlantis tour. In this video, we are co covering half of the outdoor grounds of the Atlantis, half of the royal part, the aqua adventure and the cove. In our previous video, we covered another part of the outdoors ground, half of the royal part with the royal bath pools, the beach and the coral. If you haven't seen those videos, we highly suggest you click on the link in the description below this video or wait till the end of this video to watch those videos. But either way, you would want to catch up. The videos are in sequence, they're in order. So we suggest you watch those videos before watching this one. And in part five, we will share with you how to experience this beautiful aqua adventure and gorgeous Atlantis grounds without paying the Atlantis price. If you are new to our channel, my name is Irina. And I'm Devon. And we create informative travel videos to help you get the most out of your vacation. Let's start exploring Aqua Adventure of Atlantis Park. Just, Just be, be out, out with us. mentioned in our previous video this will be the meeting point this fountain with flying fishes in our previous video we covered uh, all the grounds on my left hand side and now we're heading to aqua adventure which is located this way a new addition to the atlantis grounds is this beautiful hard swings a lot of pe people taking photos in here there is one right now and it has a beautiful background of the royal towers the landscape in here is absolutely beautiful On my right hand side there is royal bath pools which we covered in our previous video and right off the main entrance there is this popular slide it's called the Mayan temple tower right here you can see uh, kids sliding out it's actually the tubes uh, are going through a tank with sharks so as you slide through you just go through a quick drop and it leads you into a tube with sharks it is super cool this tower has I think three body slides and one tube slide. As you can see right here, you can see all the sharks swimming and you can see the tube inside the water where people slide through. And as you slide in, I know it's a really quick slide, but you slide and you get into the shark tank. It's really cool. See, halfway out and halfway through the tank. The slide is super quick, but pretty thrilling nevertheless. And this is where you would come out. From here, you can see the Royal Bath Pool and the Royal Towers as well. All right, let's walk down the steps where we started. And you can actually see the same shark tank, but in a aquarium. So you can actually just stand on the ground and look through the glass to see all the sharks swimming. And they'd also do a shark encounter where you can get in the tank with a scuba gear and swim with the sharks. Thank <laughs> you. 
And over here there is Mayan cart where you can get some drinks and have some drinks by the pool. And this is the aquarium where you can see all the sharks that we saw from the top. Here you can see in the middle the tube and <laughs> some people trying to go through this tube. and I mentioned in the previous videos that Atlantis offer um, photo packages and there are photographers, uh, um, you can find photographers uh, in different parts of the park, take pictures and they will take your wristbands. Here is a food station of different options and prices, what different um, restaurants offer. So here uh, they offer wraps for $11, chicken wraps $12, garden salad for $12, garden burger for $10, and um, uh, they also have chicken nuggets and fries and hot dogs. And right around there is a bar area but you can also order food here this is more a little bit more of like a sit down uh, bar service area and here is a pool. there's so many lounging chairs and this is Mayan temple pool because right behind it there is Mayan temple and you might not be able to see it but there are steps going all the way up with tubes this is where um, another entrance where you can get on top of the tower and here the pool gradually slopes down it's really nice perfect for kids and they also have beautiful waterfalls right in the background and connecting bridges. And now we are approaching another bar station. Well, here is water refill station and soda refill. Here they also sell cheeseburgers for $11 and salads for $12 and here uh, is called uh, this pool is called the Vrata pool this is actually preferred seating pool and you do have to uh, pay a little bit to reserve seating here the pool is open from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. daily There are also cabanas available that you can book or reserve for an additional price. If your kids need, need life vests, there are life vest stations and they are free to use throughout the property. Uh -huh. In this uh, structure, there is uh, lockers for rent. They offer small, medium, and, uh, and large lockers for rentals for $17, $23, and $28.
here is another entrance or exit to the Rapids River. We have done uh, an ex <laughs> a video of uh, the Rapids River experience uh, when we went all the way around. We will leave the link in the description below and it, it is posted on our other channel. Uh, also here there is an entrance to the beach and there are some lounge and chairs as well. This bridge on the left hand side leads you to another staircase for, um, for a, a challenger's slide. So the challenger slide, there are uh, two body slides and they have timers. So when each person slides, you can see whoever went down faster. So one went 450. Four, and the other one six seconds and 28. <laughs> And this is Splasher's Kids Pool. It's a really cool kids playground area. It's about one foot of water here. And this is um, another snack bar where you can get some ice cream, a little bit of food. There are lifeguards here and of course lounge and cheers for adults. This is the back of the Mayan temple. This is the Ripples Kids Pool. There is lifeguard, beautiful sculptures of seahorses. And there is also a body slide exiting this way as well. Right straight ahead, there is Royal Towers. There are tile stations uh, all around this area so you can have you will have no problems finding towels.
This is the bridge going over the Rapids River. This is actually where the Rapids River will end. Um, it used to be, you used to be able to go all the way around, but uh, guests were complaining that they couldn't find tubes and they would have to wait for the tube so they decided now to block off the area and this is where all the empty tubes would float and this is where you would exit and leave your tube and this is where you will officially enter the rapids river this is the beginning this is where you would officially exit the rapids river leave your tube and just cross over back to the beginning if you want to start the ride again and as you can see here there are so many tubes flowing there is a guard there uh, holding the tubes back and then releasing some of the tubes so here you will have no problems getting a tube and now we can go um, all around these grounds and show you a little bit more. On my right hand side there is another snack bar and water station and here is again there's a little cove area is where you can exit and maybe relax on the lounge and chairs. There are actually, even though this is the official entrance, there are many exits and exit and entrances for the Rapids River. It's just the difference is you would have to wait a little bit for the empty tube to come float to you. Here they have flatbread pizzas for nine dollars, uh, burgers. The building that you see on the background is the cove. This is more of the luxury tower of the Atlantis. And the lowest price I've seen for it was $350 per night. approaching another bridge that crosses over the Rapids River and here you can stand and watch other visitors float and there are lifeguards on multiple points of this river here it doesn't look like much but this river gets really rough at some point. Uh, when we were floating on single tubes, Devon actually had his tube flipped over and he fell into the water, lost his glasses. And when we asked the lifeguard if it's even possible to find our, his um, sunglasses, he told us where they would normally find them. So our, his sunglasses floated probably uh, 30 feet or even 50 feet more uh, away from where he originally lost them but nevertheless we did find them and this is a closer look of the coral not coral of the cove tower Now we're heading towards the spa and the fitness center. Now there is also a tennis court, but it's located pretty far, so we're not going to make it all the way there. If my audio 
<laughs> doesn't sound good i apologize uh, there are nordic winds coming right now so the weather is going to be pretty windy for the rest of the week so this is the only chance to shoot this walking tour for you guys Atlantis also offers a shuttle to take you between different spots so if you decide to stay here at the cove and want to go to the royal tower to a restaurant or to a bar they will take you there the shuttle runs every seven minutes during the day and every five minutes in the evening from here you can see the back of the royal tower and the beginning of the lazy pool which is the rapids river now this path is um if you go straight you go to dolphin cave or if you go this way you go to the fitness center and the spa so let's head over this way first and then we come back and check out the dolphin cave And this is the main entrance to Mandaria Spa. Let's see if it's open. Yes, it is. Mm, the smell here is so clean and smells like a spa here. There are water pools over here. On this side, there is manicure and pedicure station. And uh, they also use Elemis products for their spa. And on the other side, there are treatment rooms, but we cannot go inside. So let's just um, go towards the fitness center. So we're not gonna have you here waiting for us walking all the way through. We're just gonna start at the fitness center point. Now here is the fitness center. Let's pop in quickly and it also has its own pool with 
training lanes, so swimming lanes and lounging chairs. There is another shop with fitness apparel and beach attire. Can we take a look at the gym? Sure. Thank you. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Here there's a lot of cardio equipment and in the back there is a little bit of um, weight lift equipment. And over here they have pretty large basketball court. And now we are heading to Dolphin Cay. They do have dolphin and sea lion encounters there. When we were here uh, the second time, we actually did a dolphin encounter and we really enjoyed it. In order to do encounters, you actually have to have Atlantis Pass. So you cannot just purchase an encounter and not purchase the day pass or you have to be a hotel guest. Here you see the Cove Tower and right behind there is a Reef Tower and that tower is more of the apartment style and the cove is the hotel luxury hotel style we will be going there in just a little bit so just stay with us if you're enjoying this video so far don't forget to click like and this is the dolphin key or oh, dolphin k on my left hand side they have the snacks and bar area and what do they have for snacks? Hot dogs, veggie grab bag, fruit grab bag, chips, so more of a simpler snacks if you're hungry or maybe if you're waiting for your family, you can have some snacks. Here you can actually see visitors are doing encounters with dolphins. It is a pretty large cove. And uh, in order to do encounters here, you have to wear the same uh, type of attire. So they provide you with the, the same wetsuits. So they say, so the dolphins don't get confused and they don't see, I guess, different outfits. Everybody's wearing the same uniform outfits. On this side, there is a registration area and you can per if you're staying here, you can purchase your tickets here. You can check in and wait for your encounter. It is so beautiful. I love the ceiling decorations. And after you check in, they will uh, take you to um, get your life vest and the matching water suits. And over here, there is 
a gift shop and also you can purchase a photo package because they do not allow you to take your own camera to the encounter so you're kind of forced to get a photo package and you can print it print a few pictures or you can um, get it on a flash card Now the skies got it's completely covered, covered right? by clouds and it started to drizzle. Now we are heading towards the cove area. Now, as I mentioned before in previous videos, the Atlantis grounds are separated into several different parts. The royal, the coral, the beach, the aqua adventures where the lazy ri rapids river is and the slides, and the cove. Each tower has its own arrival area and registration area. And now we are heading inside, well, the lobby grounds of the Cove Tower. This is more of the luxury tower and um, the rooms are like hotel rooms and this is the arrival area and this is also where you can catch a taxi or a shuttle to go to different parts of the resort this is a lily pond here and they do have some um, koi fishes here This arrival area is absolutely beautiful. As you're walking down, you get perfect, beautiful view of palm trees and the Caribbean Sea. And there are plenty of loungers all around. Hi guys, how are you? Hello, good, how are you? Nathan, how are you good? Oh, we're good, thank you. And as you're walking around, you see the ponds with koi fishes all around. In this area, you will find gourmet restaurant named Fish. It is beautifully decorated and even though these ponds and waterfalls are man-made, they are really beautiful. Let's quickly look at the menu. Judging by the name of it, this is a seafood restaurant, but they also serve steak. Just to give you a few examples for appetizers, they have fish ceviche for $22, shrimp cocktail is $28, half a dozen of oysters is $29, and the full dozen is $58. And for main courses, the 8-ounce salmon is $48, 8 ounces mahi-mahi is $54, crab cakes is $28, and for your meats, 14-ounce prime rib is $80, and jerk chicken is $29. In. 
and heading up more into the Cove Tower. Again, you have ponds and waterfalls and beautiful landscaping all around. There is a seagrass lounge. They have a few um, uh, slot machines here and um, they also have uh, some basic food options here and a bar of course. For just uh, food and snack options, uh, they have uh, ahi tuna and avocado poke for $34, uh, cheese board $38, um, panini and sandwiches for $25, and um, smoked salmon for $25. There are ponds with fishes here. They have Escape Cove shop where you can purchase some attire, uh, accessories, beachwear. I love the grand feel of this walkway. And on the right hand side there are access to the elevators of the tower and another exit or entrance to the park. And we are back on the grounds. There are 12 pools all around this property, so anywhere you go, you will find a pool with lounge and chairs. Over here, they have a beautiful lawn with some hammocks. And this tower is the reef. Uh, as I mentioned before, the reef is uh, more of the condos style tower. And uh, these condos are individually owned. And they're being rented and the hotel manages each condo. Thank you, I appreciate it. And this is the lobby for the reef. They have Starbucks in here. This 
this is uh, the registration area and uh, this way you will find the elevators to the residencies or the condos. Have a beautiful chandelier. And they have a small shop here uh, with very little food options. And here is the main arrival area. This is where you will catch a taxi or a shuttle to other areas. The rates for the reef apartments vary depending on the season and the size of the apartment you are getting. Uh, I saw rates from $500 to over a thousand dollars. Rates for the Cove uh, Hotel also vary, starting from uh, $350 to $500. And the main Royal Tower, the rates go for around four to $500. Uh, let's loop around the Cascades Pool. And remember guys, this is a five part series and in part five, we're going to tell you how to experience the aqua adventure and the Atlantis grounds without paying the Atlantis price. This is the Cascades pool. It is located between the Reef Tower and the Cove Tower. This is the Cove Tower. This is more of a luxury resort, a hotel resort. Here on my right hand side, there are bathrooms. And here is also an entrance to the beach. So you see just how close it is to get to the beach. And again, right now there is uh, um, a little windy it's um, the water is very rough there is a lot of lounging chairs with shade covers so this is where you see the roped off area this is the end of the Atlantis grounds but stay with us because this is not the end of the video as yet and if you have to if you have watched this video till this point and you enjoyed it so far don't forget to click like and leave a comment have you been uh, to the atlantis resort have you experienced the aqua adventure and share your experience with us and if you haven't let us know in the comments would you like to come to the atlantis This is still a part of the Cascades pool. I apologize if my microphone picks up all this wind. Well, Jake from State Farm, we got the whole band back there. And we're passing by a juice station. They have fresh coconuts here, fresh juices, um, smoothies, fresh uh, pineapples. And over here, there is another um, bar area, Cascades, where they have some um, food and drinks. And here's the beach area. They have beach volleyball nets here. And this beach goes into a really awesome peninsula and they have some um, art uh, structure. Uh, let me get the exact name. It's a sacred space art installation. We will head over there shortly. And this area is adults only. They're, they have private cabanas here, which you can rent out for an additional price. And right behind it, there is um, Cove Pool. And it is also adults only pool.
And this area for registered guests of the Cove only. It's just more like a party atmosphere here. There is music. The atmosphere here is very lovely. There is music playing and it's more of a party feel. This beachside restaurant is called Sip Sip. They are known for their lobster quesadilla and spicy conch chili. The prices here are much higher than other outdoors restaurants. For example, ahi tuna poke for appetizers is $32, fresh conch salad is $19, jerk chicken wings is $24, a tropical fruit platter is $80. Conk chili nachos $24 and their signature sip sip lobster quesadilla is $45. So let's go to this little peninsula and check out the sacred art installation. This area is protected so it's less waves. That's why you can see more people over here.
the water here in the Bahamas is so clear and comparing to Hawaii, Hawaii even is not as clear. If you're new to our channel, we travel full-time creating informative videos for you. And YouTube videos do take a little bit longer to edit and publish, but we do have our Instagram and Facebook accounts where we publish stories every day. So you can ask us questions, we answer your questions and keep you up to date with our travels and everything that is going on. So one of the questions that we received on Instagram was how different is Baha is the Bahamas from Hawaii well besides the fact that Hawaii is the furthest um, land uh, liv livable land from any uh, mainland it is, it is six hour flight Bahamas is only uh, I think one hour flight from Miami so it is much closer and as far as water goes the water here in the Bahamas is way more clear than in Hawaii. Right now behind me you can see the cruise ship dock. Uh, Nassau Bahamas is a popular cruise ship port and sometimes there are seven cruise ships at the same time docked here. And the Atlantis is one of the popular things to do here when you get off the cruise ship. So this is the sacred art installation and you can see there are stacks of rocks and the wooden sticks they actually look like people they're carved and some of them even have uh, scar head scarves and skirts From here we can go on the other side of the peninsula and from here you can also see the uh, um, reef tower, the cove tower and the royal tower and the futuristic looking tower that you see right next to the royal tower is actually the power tower and it is the tower with slides right behind it you can see the coral tower and the beach tower difference between a vacation in, in Hawaii and the Bahamas is that in Hawaii you do not need a passport if you're an American citizen to fly because Hawaii is the 50th state of the United States and to come to the Bahamas you do need a passport it, it is an international flight and currently you do need to apply for a health visa we paid $40 each for the health visa and we were required to upload our vaccination cards and uh, our negative te COVID test results. So this beach that um, you can see on the left hand side of the screen is the Cove Beach and the beach that we were just on is called Paradise Beach and these beaches are all a part of the Atlantis even though all beaches in the Bahamas are public you do have to pass through the Atlantis property so technically if you do not have the Atlantis pass or you are not a guest at the Atlantis you are not going to be able to come to the, these specific beaches but there are other beaches
beaches that you can access on the Paradise Island here. Right behind this white fence is the Cove adult only pool where we were just were. available again because it's very windy and you can't really go swimming because the current is too strong but we've been here before when the water was super calm so let's cut into the grounds from the beach The Atlantis Resort literally has something for all ages and all types of preferences as well. If you like pool, if you like slides, if you like the beach, quiet area, party area. And the Atlantis Resort, if you're staying at the Atlantis Resort, offers itinerary that changes every single week and they offer some games by the pool and all different types of things that are going on during the week and every week is different This is Pita Beach Bites. It's really cool. Different outdoor dining areas offer different styles of uh, cuisine. This is this have uh, Bohemian favorites and a little bit of Mediterranean. For example, hummus is eight dollars. Uh, pita is two fifty. They have chicken shawarma pita for seventeen, and uh, beers for seven eight dollars, and wine is ten dollars per glass. Straight ahead, there are some cabanas around the pool and this is Bath's Colonnade Pool. You see the back of the Royal Towers. There's lots of lounge and chairs. It's actually pretty easy to have an available, to find an available lounge and chair. You do not need to walk far to find food or a bar, right? At this exit of the pool, there is a, a Breakwaters Grill. They sell hot dogs, burgers, salad, and wraps. This is uh, one of the entrances or exits to Rapids River. Are 
This futuristic looking building is the power tower. There are about three or four different slides here and the Rapids River is right next to it. So usually you are able to take your tube from the Rapids River and on the conveyor belt will take you up this power tower and then bring you down on a slide. But right now the conveyor belt is broken. It's been out of service for about three weeks. So it's one of the best parts of the slide, but unfortunately we weren't able to get on it. So if you go this way, you're going to enter the slide and uh, here, this way is the abyss slide. It is so cool as we're walking through all these pathways, we can see the Rapids River, we can see the power tower and different slides. On the other side of the Lazy River, there is a Mayan temple tower that uh, offers other slides. We were there just earlier in this video. So be sure to stay till the end of the video because Atlantis has way more things to offer. We looked around towards the Mayan uh, temple tower and now we are going to go across towards the beach. We're passing by the Mayan temple pool. We were here just earlier during this video. And again, on your right-hand side of the screen, this is the lockers. Right next to it, there is restrooms and the beach. And this bridge connects the lagoon or the, over this bridge as you cross, this is where the lagoon connects to the sea. Fresh ocean water flows through this canal into the lagoon. And on the other side of the bridge, you can see the Caribbean Sea, the beach, and there is also volleyball nets and more beach chairs. Wow. 
as you're walking through this path, you can see the royal towers on our right hand side. And if you have seen our previous video, we actually walked alongside this path and to the other side of the Atlantis grounds. We will leave this link in the description below, so be sure to check it out. So now let's walk over the bridge and discover the other side of the royal part of the Atlantis grounds. This lagoon is perfect for snorkeling, kayaking or aqua biking. And right at the exit on the left hand side there is area with some games and they also um, reserve this area sometimes for private events straight ahead there is royal bath pools and you can see the west and the east tower of the royal towers and the bridge suite Here on the right hand side again you can see the Mayan temple tower with slides and this is where you slide into the shark pool If you find this video useful, Dorothy. don't forget to click like. Dorothy. Dorothy. And from this angle, you can see the front of the heart structure with the swing and the royal tower behind. This is where everyone takes pictures. And here we go, we're back to our meeting point. This is the fountain with flying fishes. If you did make it all the way to the end of the video, we thank you so much. And let us know, leave a comment below that you did watch the entire video. And let us know if it was helpful to make a decision whether you want to come to and experience the Atlantis or not. This is the end of part three of our five part series of the Atlantis tour. Next up is the Atlantis Marina Village. If you haven't seen the part one and part two, keep in mind the link to the playlist is in the description or right here on the screen. We thank you so much for watching and as usual, just be out with us.